and today I'm going to be modeling the airports. I'm going to try to get a rough draft of these airports done, so uh, we got the DC airport first. So this is the DC airport. I have the reference images here. It's kind of like this strange arc shape. Let's put in a cube. Okay, put it like that. Uh, import. There we go. Nice. Okay, so there's our character. I'm going to scale on the X only. And then G, Y, like that. Then bevel them. That's not bad. I'm actually, I'm, I'm kind of into that. And then G, Y. There we go. Hit E to extrude. Bring them up. Okay, now we have two separate things. We have the walls here and the floor there. Okay, so I can also get rid of that. We have that. You step in, and then this is the wall, uh, the ticket agents here, and then the walls bend up. I mean, the booths, not booth, what do you call this? The little table, right, that they work on, the little desks. And you can enter through here, shops, and then you have this little center seating area, and then the stairs that come around like this. Then each of the doors to outside to go to your plane. Okay, I think I like this one better. Pretty much like right here. And scale it on Y. Extrude along normals, like that. And you grab them in groups. You go like that. Or I guess you just want these, basically. And go back as well. Move them back like that. Okay, there we go. So it's kind of like a curved desk delete these center parts, center faces. Uh, shift D that shit, scooch it back, and then take the top parts of these and turn that into the wall. You're like, whoop, put a little lip for it. Or no, you extrude up all the way. And then you could take these and extrude along normals, like that. Okay, I'm dropping into the scene. Okay, so this is kind of what it looks like. You walk into the airport and it's like this. And then behind these desks is where all the people who are gonna be uh, the ticket agents selling tickets. And then you come in here and then there's gonna be shops right here along the other side of these walls. Uh, and then this is a big window. And let's crank it this way. Yeah, there we go. Let's see, let's scale it along like that, like this. These will be like large steps, like that. Okay, and then you take these, all of these, and then you extrude them up. And then I could just take this one. There we go, much better. Okay. okay and then you scale it on X it back. Then we're going to take these stairs, put on a modifier, boolean modifier. We're going to use this. Then we're going to hide this, make sure it worked. Yes, it did. Very cool. I think you take these and delete them. Something like this. I think I take this face and extrude out, and then I take these corners and I bevel them. It's kind of a weird setup, but that's basically what's going on there. A cylinder, reduce that, change that to one. Z, 90 degrees, and then Alt D. Oops. Scale it down like that, so it fits right there in the center. Boop. And this should just come all the way through. Whoa! Like that. Brilliant. So you want to select all of these, all of these, solo them, go like this, KZC, and cut across the top, and then. Maybe just loop cut over here at the very edge, like that, and like that. Select all these, right? And the 
these, delete the faces, and then up here we can kind of close these gaps. Make a new one that is 600 by 1200, fill this, shrink this down, give it a stroke on the outside, dark gray, rasterize that, magic eraser this shit, boop, there we go, cube project a scale like that. It's kind of like a really plain J. Oh, like this, rectangle marbles. Ooh, yeah, that's the shit. That's what we're looking for. Image texture, open, this one. Okay, cool. And then just going to tab, A, U, oops, U, Q, project. Come in here, A, and then scale it up a little bit. I want them to keep them pretty big still. Yeah, that looks a lot better. Ooh, that looks good, that looks good. I like that, I like that. Laker Mouse, greeting Professor Steven and folks. What's up, Laker Mouse, how you doing? How's it going, Professor? Ugh. I'll take that, Professor, it's a nice title. It's an admirable, admirable position. A, U, Q, project, A, S, up, like that. G, Z, all the way up, like that probably even into the ceiling ones, so I can put that there. Shift Z, and we'll put this one like right here. Might be helpful to take like this view. Alt D, Shift Z. Does that look symmetrical? Yeah, it feels more or less symmetrical. Yeah, I think that it's chill. Yep, perfect, beautiful. Uh, or maybe. Nah, it's a little too dirty. It's a little too dirty. Concrete tile. That looks... You know what it is? It's that it, it, it doesn't have the contrast. Whenever you just get the albedo from these things, they don't really have the contrast in them. So what you end up needing to do is like... Yeah, like if I get this height map and put the height map on top of it, and then put in like a blend mode. That one looks good, just as overlay. Gives it a little bit more contrast. So now I can control Alt W this bad boy. Uh, hit export. And then in here, I'll call this concrete sidewalk 1K uh, comp. See, now it's a little bit more contrasty. Now you can actually see what's going on in there. Yeah, I'm down with that, I'm down with that. Just use this as like a door frame. So that way it can kind of indep independently exist. Grab this, boom, boolean, grab this, okay, and then hide it. All right, that's what we want. Delete it, faces. Mm -hmm. okay. So I'm gonna take all of it. Ontario, then John Wayne. I think this is chill, and then maybe put them all together like this. Okay. And if I give them all that, there we go. There's at least some variation in there now. Maybe even throw it on top. Fuck it. I don't know why I didn't do that too. Like that, and then put this one like right there. Nice, or even, you know what? It'd be better if I put it like that. There we go. That really ties it together. Okay, so this is how you get out to the tarmac. And I think the floor, I just shift D that bad boy, put it up like that. It's pretty much a good roof now. Call this airport ceiling. Or roof, whatever. Roof, roof. Alright. 
And this one can use that concrete bear. Yeah. There we go. This is looking pretty good. Welcome to the DC airport. That was fucking quick. This was like, this was surprisingly quick. Should the grain be up and down or left and right? It should be up and down. But do I really want it to get? Yeah, up and down is cool, whatever. And then it has these metal panels in between. So if I search metal, this, who cares? Just try it. Go like that, and then image adjustments levels. Make them a little bit darker, like that. Give them a, a drop shadow, maybe. Okay, something like that. Um, I dig it. Sure. And then you keep project a scale it up until it fits nicely right. Rotate that. There we go. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Uh, concrete sidewalk. All right. A U cube project. A scale like that. I want to say like this and this. Do the same thing over here. I can't tell if I'm making the same sizes or not, but fuck it. Okay. And then Alt H to reveal everything. So I can grab these, these, and then extrude down. Um, and you know, it might fuck some things up with scaling, so I'm gonna just bring all this up uniformly. Oh, but before I do that, change this to correct face attribute so it just slides. Okay. And let's take these now. And then for these, we'll make a new material. What if I use this? Hit a sign. And I cube project. Cylinder. Change this to 16. Like this. Inner. Up. Okay. All right, guys, take care of yourselves. Hit me up in the Discord, join the Discord, links in there. Wishlist this goddamn game. It's on Steam, the link's also in the description. I'll talk to you all very, very soon. All right, peace.